Right now about one of the hardest hit areas in Hamburg. Joining us live is Lisa Polk, Deputy Town Supervisor there. Lisa, we appreciate you taking some time for us. You think about Hamburg, Orchard Park, Blaisdell, these places where the snow totals are just so high and continuing to get higher. Um, what can you tell us is the very latest right now in terms of especially emergency response in your town, considering how hard it is to get around? Absolutely. Um, our crews are out working hard. Uh, they've been at it since 730 last evening. Um, I just got off the phone with our highway superintendent, Edward Hughes. He told me that we're at about 35 inches of snowfall at this point. Uh, they had to reach out to the state and FEMA. I think we have nine high loaders out there helping our plows. We are uh, waiving the 16 hour shift requirement. We've got uh, workers getting some rest on cots and getting right back out there. Um, they've set up a shelter at our senior center uh, just to deal with stranded motorists. Um, so we're working on getting volunteers for that. Um, I think that they are trying to clear lots in some of the local fire companies, either Armor, Armor or Big Tree or both, um, in addition to some of the bigger uh, parking lots in the area for tractor trailers. Um, it's all hands on deck and we've got a fantastic emergency services team buildings and grounds, highway. We've been working hard together all day to just keep people safe and uh, get through this. Lisa, when we think back to November uh, eight years ago, right? When we started to get snow totals that were just this high, you started to see roofs collapse and, and other dangerous situations popping up. What are the preparation, what, what are preparations going on right now in terms of the town and working with the county and the state to respond to that should it happen? Sure, we're all working together. Uh, we have our code enforcement and our building guys on call uh, should dispatch need them to go look at a site or um, get a report of a roof that's caved in. It's all hands on deck, everyone's available. Um, our emergency services team is fantastic and we've all been working together with the appropriate department heads to just keep everyone safe and, and get through this. Finally, Lisa, um, talk to me about the message that you have for the public. I mean, we've been hearing it all day long from elected leaders telling folks don't get out there and drive unless you absolutely have to. And it's one of those things where, you know, it, it's one thing to say that, but people are going to watch this and be like, oh, I've lived through a bunch of snowstorms. I can get to where I need to go and do it. Um, but we're seeing just a ton of people stuck, especially where you are. Yeah, it is a mess. Um, everyone I've talked to today says uh, plows are getting stuck. Um, Motorists are getting stuck because they're, they're not abiding the driving ban. Um, it's just so important to stay home, stay safe, snuggle in with a friend. Um, we're the town that friendship built. So go, you know, walk down to your neighbor's house or hang tight with a friend, um, stay home. On my short drive to town hall this morning, um, I had a police uh, car take me. And on my short drive from my home to town hall, we saw so many motorists that were stranded and they were just places that um, they did not need to be. So just stay off the road. It just, it just takes resources that we could be using through emergency services and police away from what they need to be doing, which is keeping everyone stay safe. So just stay home, sit tight and stay home. That's my advice. With the potential of even more snow. Uh, Lisa Polk, Deputy Town Supervisor for Hamburg. Thanks so much for coming on and best of luck to you.